I am right now standing in the Maccabi House. If you could believe, this is normally the professional basketball stadium for the Maccabi Rishon Letzion basketball team, a very good team here. Now that we're in the middle of this war, this is literally turned into an emergency uh, place to collect special items that are going directly to the soldiers in the south of Israel right now along the border preparing to do whatever is being prepared to do. You can see here we have clothes, underwear, underwear, supplies, hygienic items, and a very enthusiastic crowd, which we're going to get to in a second. Uh, I want to also share here, if you look at some of these boxes, it's been over 2,000 boxes that have been packed with individual notes. Look at this. Individual notes. This is going to our children that are fighting and defending Israel at this time. Shampoo, toothpaste, underwear, basic supplies that human beings need that are going to be fighting this war. And this is the heart and soul again of this country, this group of people that have been here every single day. Even the supply isn't that full because they've given it all away, all away. So now we are joined by a very special man. He's a deputy mayor of Rishon Letzion. Thank you so much for, number one, um, being so on top of your beloved city and all of these wonderful people who already feel like family, and I've only been here an hour with you. Yeah. It feels good to be here in spite of the fact that we're here for the worst possible reason. Yeah, in order to uh, overcome the atrocities we hear from the front, the best way for us and to boost the morale is just bring all these wonderful volunteers to do everything they can in order to help our troops on the Gaza border unfortunately now even on the northern border and to help all the families that lost their best uh, the best friends and all the kings and everything and don't forget there are so many missing people after six days they still don't know where they are it's unbelievable how they kidnapped babies elderies 90 years old in wheelchairs and uh, everything and they just want to have any news from their families so these boxes that you guys are preparing, there have been more than 2,000 that are literally being delivered in armored cars directly Direct. to the soldiers uh, at the border of Gaza that we know of right now. Exactly. They take everything directly to the soldiers and to the uh, uh, kibbutz, kibbutzim near the border, which all their homes were burned. They don't have any clothes, any food, nothing. And we give them the first uh, aid to survive the first days. Also with Rishon, a very tight community as we can see here. This is really a very, uh, really, I'm loving being here in Rishon Letzion with you all right now. It gives me a lot of comfort to be here with such strong, warm people. And I just want to know, I mean, how are you dealing with the fact there are what, how many, how many people from Rishon have been killed? 30? 30 was uh, uh, delivered to us this uh, data on Sunday. I'm, I'm very uh, sad to say that the numbers are growing by each day. So this is how do we deal with this? Explain why this is how Am Yisrael deals with this. This is, you know, we have mainly our viewers in the United States. So what is your message? Our Besides what we're going to get to in a moment our here behind our us. Our message is that we don't have any other country, and that's our secret weapon. We don't have anywhere to go. This is the only country in the world that can uh, safeguard all the Jews. So nobody will drive us away from our country and from our homeland. Amen. Amen. All right, now all of you, do you have something to say? Am Israel, Am Israel, Am Israel, Hi. Am Israel, Am Israel, Am Israel, Hi. Am Israel, Am Israel, Am Israel, Hi. Am Israel, Am Israel,
more person to introduce you to. 85 years old. I am, I am, I survived many, many uh, wars here in the Middle East. And I want to say that we have one secret. The secret is that the Arab countries can lose one battle, second one, third one, and they survive. We can't lose once because then we are finished. This is our secret. How many wars have you been through in your 85 young years? Three. Three wars. You fought in all. You fought in all of them. Yeah, I fought in all of them. I was in the in the tanks, in the in the armored. Uh, units and uh, is I this worse? Them. You've survived 67 and 73. What? It's, how is this it's different? Difficult, it's different that now I am in the ba in the in the in the back and I with the with the with the people and not not uh, armed and not in the front. So it's a little difficult yes. that you can't do. But anything. if you could, you would be there. I could tell you've got a lot of 85 years. You got you're you're going all the way on May of Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.